Here we can see the image of a cathedral, and here you can see some branches hanging over in the frame of the actual photograph. Now if you look very carefully at those leaves, there's not a lot of detail there. Now let's just say I wish to bring that detail out. Then one of the things I can do is select this magnifying tool here and just draw a square around that area. And you can see it magnifies that particular part of the image. I'm now going to select this tool here, the fuzzy selection tool, and I'm simply going to click into this area, and you can see it's attempting to select all of the same colours, which in this particular case are obviously the colours of these leaves. Now if you hold the shift key down, you can click the other leaves as I'm doing here, and they add to the selection. So if I carefully continue to do this, I am beginning to pick up all of the leaves, and I'll be able to do something with them once I've selected them all. Okay, I'm not going to spend too much time on this, but uh, I could continue to do that. And there is always other ways in which you can do the same thing as this. Having selected the area I wish to alter, I'm now going to come down to this tool here, select it, and it's the Dodge and Burn tool. Now I move this particular scroll bar down, and I make sure that I've got Dodge selected and Shadow selected. I'll now move this scroll bar up here, and you can see I've made the size of the actual tool very large. If I come into the image, you can see that dotted line there shows me how big indeed the size of the tool actually is with respect to this particular area that I'm moving across here now. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to dodge that particular area, and you'll see what happens. It'll bring out the detail of that a little bit more than it appears at the moment. So what I do now is holding the appropriate mouse button down, I simply move this across here very, very slowly and carefully, selecting everything, and you can see it's brought out some of the highlights of that area of the image. Okay, not a very good job, but remember this video isn't really to show you the dodge tool. It's to show you that I'm working on a magnified area of the actual image, and I'm trying to improve it in some way. What I'll do now, I'll come up here to where it says select and say select none. And you can see it's actually moved the selection from those leaves. What I want to see is what that now looks like in the big image. Well, I can see aspects of it I don't like already. I mean, here, if you have a look, you can see it uh, looks a little bit embossed. It might not show up on your particular monitor. But that's because I've dodged this area a little bit too much. I should have been more careful when I did it. But I can go back and fix that later. What I'm particularly interested in now is how do I get a quick view of my overall image? Well, the quick way to do that is to come here to View, is to select View, then select Zoom, coming to here and click on this where it says Fit Image in Window. And in particular, you should note this here where it says Shift plus Control plus J. If you hold the Shift, Control and J key down at the same time, you'll have the same effect of me simply clicking here with the mouse. So I'm just going to do it with the mouse and let's see what happens. Well, what we can see is we have that. We have all of the image appearing and we can have a look at what's happened in this particular region here and we can decide whether we like the look of it. So that's a very useful quick method when you're working on areas of an image that you've magnified, you wish to tidy something up about the image. So just remember that. Remember that particular selection that you can drag down from the, the menus or remember the shortcut. Let's have a quick look at it again we go to view we go to zoom and we come here and you can see that the shortcut is shift control and J on the keyboard 